So the equation is simple. There are two games left. The Blues need a point from either of them. It would be lovely if they could do the job tonight. And then next Friday against Everton, they could have a party celebration in front of their own supporters as they're presented with the Premier League 2 trophy. Trying to win the ball back here from another Leeds attack. And the shot's gone in. Well, the worst possible start for City. Six minutes. And Matteo Joseph makes it 1-0 to Leeds. Well, he had a sighter about two minutes ago. It went whistling by Slicker's goal. But on this occasion, Joseph's got it. But it is hardly the ideal start in a game the Blues cannot afford to lose in many ways, albeit they would have that extra game next week at home to Everton to try and secure the Premier League 2 title. I was just explaining that it is the division for reserves effectively and you can play senior players if you wish to in order to get them back to full fitness and indeed that has happened for Leeds United this season. The likes of uh, Luke Ayling and uh, one or two others as City look for an equaliser immediately and they've got it very very tidily taken there is a hush around the stadium as Kaiki takes City's best chance of the match and slides it into the corner of the net here he is again Kaiki and the Blues are getting round the back of Leeds United again and they've scored again Cole Palmer what a terrific response well it was Cole Palmer who made it 3-2 with a goal in the last minute when they met Leeds in November he's on target again and it was a very similar goal to the one scored by Kaiki released down the right hand side bursting clear of the defence and again just as Kaiki had been a few moments earlier Palmer's finish was beautiful Betty's pass is a good one despite his foot giving way under him brings in Kaiki who's looking for the byline just tried a little nutmeg that almost got him through but Leeds come away with McGurk and just listen to the noise around Ellen Road as out comes Slicker and the referee's got a decision to make and he's gone to his pocket and it's a yellow card yellow card for Slicker the Leeds United players asking for a red for Slicker Slicker says I got the ball referee says no you got Somerville and the Leeds United supporters saying that he should be red carded a fabulous game to watch and City are sitting pretty they only need a draw to be the champions they lead by two goals to one and here comes Somerville he's got round the back of Galvez and Slicker makes the save and the referee what's he given this time I was concerned he was pointing to the spot. I think he's given a goal kick, he has. So just to reiterate, City on top, 48 points from 24 games. West Ham second, 42 points from 24 games. And it's a 26-game season, so West Ham can only get to 48 points. As City are looking for a third, and Idozi's thumped it into the side netting. Lovely burst from Idozi, got himself into a shooting position, hit it with plenty of venom. But he couldn't quite steer it across the goalkeeper and into the corner of the net. But this was beautiful to watch, slaloming his way through challenges and thumping it into the side of the netting. It's very, very neatly done. 
by Idozi. He keeps on going, Idozi. Deflection on the shot, takes it out for the corner. Oh, he can't believe it. He worked the opening so beautifully. He must have got the better of two, maybe three Leeds defenders. Got himself into the penalty area. But his shot deflected over the bar. Look at this driving run. Not the first time he's done exactly this this evening. Two and a half minutes to go. City, they only need a draw tonight. And they will be champions. Well, it's not their way to settle for a draw. They want to win the title in style with a victory. Here's Giavi on towards De Lapp. Can City get a third? They have! That is the crown on the heads of the champions. Liam De Lapp has absolutely guaranteed that City's under-23s, the elite development squad, will be champions for the second season in a row. It has been a quite magnificent campaign. And there is the whistle. City are champions of Premier League 2. A quite brilliant season, the first of Brian Barry Murphy's reign. They only needed a draw tonight. Typical of them, they got a victory. They had to do it the hard way against a crowd of 21,000 supporting leads. They fell behind early, but goals from Kaiki, from Cole Palmer, and then Liam Delap have not only ensured a victory tonight, but ensured that the Premier League 2 title will remain at the Etihad Stadium. The elite development squad have retained the crown they won a year ago, and they've done it in style. An 11-game unbeaten run, eight wins and three draws. And next Friday night, in front of their own supporters, they will be presented with the trophy on what should be a party atmosphere and will hopefully be the first of several more trophies to be adorning the Etihad Stadium trophy cabinet. It has been an extraordinary night because for young players to play against that hostile reception was a real challenge for them. They got off to the worst possible start when Joseph gave Leeds United the lead. But their personality, their determination and their wonderful imagination turned the game around so quickly in their favour. And a third goal by De Lapp.